Hungry? What's next? Oh. Storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is... quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Oh! Not again. Get ready. Falcon! <laughs> What she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is!
through for Steve. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vana. Up. I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Hmm. Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. Okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you too. Where's your food? You still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Besu. Sofna. 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 Sofna.
No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Drinking is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. We'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. You do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. Can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Well, I don't recognize that dull expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Am I to decipher your grunting? Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. 
We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. Mm. This way. Vey. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. It cannot be far. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone. Just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Hmm? Atreus, where are you? I 
prayed Fenrir. And then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad. And then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And we will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Control. We will take no unnecessary risks. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! This one. Intent does not matter. Only consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us, if that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. What was that? The ball!
I come in? I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. See the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of 
course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for Tyr. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tyr's old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe it without you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day.
why my sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. No! Consider your blood debt paid. It's the end. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. And we. Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To, uh, pay for the roof. And... He invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth. From me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but... Now that you know... There's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things. Keep the change, you bastard! Are raiders warring with one another now? Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Morning. Oh, no. Brother! Oh! <laughs> 
Okay. You watching? new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free. Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are. Chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the 
isn't he in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding out? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartal, fine. That's a good bet. Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Tears and Svartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So? What now? Home. <sighs> this way. <laughs> Him to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. How you've grown! <laughs> uh, oh, <well>, yeah. <sighs> well, if you'll follow me. Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms.